In this instructional video, we're going to go through challenge 06 and we're going to learn about the div tag. Now, the div tag is just the is essentially a division or a rectangle on your website. So this right here is a div. This is a div. This is a div. And this is another div. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to my Sasser HTML folder. I'm going to make a new folder in here and we're going to call this one challenge six. So now I'm going to open up brackets per the usual, open up brackets here. Once this opens, I'm going to go file and choose new. And then let's go file and save. And let's save this to my challenge six folder that we just created. And we'll save it as challenge six.html. I'll click save just like that. And let's get started with the building blocks here. So we'll go HTML tag html with the closing html down there and then we're going to use a head tag here and this oopsies and the head tag here needs a title tag of course and then we'll add a body tag here close that down there and let's jump back to the assignment sheet and see that the title tag is going to be div tag challenge so we'll copy that and i'll go back to brackets and i'll paste that in there and i'll save this and let's go back to our folder here and let's open up challenge six. And there it is. You'll notice it says the div tag challenge up top there. Okay. And now uh, the body background color is a light salmon here. So let's jump back to brackets and let's give it a style equals. And I'll do background dash color and I'll paste that light salmon in there and jump back here and refresh that. And I got a nice little background color there. Let's look at the assignment sheet. Now we've got a, a div here. Each div has a border of one pixel, uh, India, Indian red, uh, and a 10 pixel padding and 800 pixels wide. And there are 20 pixels of margin between each of the four divs and they're centered on the screen. So let's do the first one here. So I'm gonna make a div here, another div, just like that. And it makes a, oopsies, and it makes a closing div there. And let's give it a, and we'll do, We'll do style equals and we'll do border and I'll do colon and border needs three declarations border and we'll do one pixel solid and we'll do Indian red just like that semicolon. And now if I save this and refresh this here, you'll see that I've got a border that runs one pixel like that. And you can see it doesn't go. It goes all the way across the screen. So let's set the width to be 800. I'll do width 800 pixels. And I'll do margin dash left auto and margin dash right auto, just like that. Save that, refresh that. And now that div is centered. It's a rectangle. It doesn't have any height. So let's add a padding in here and that'll put some space on the inside. And the padding I tell you to add is uh, 10 pixels here. So we'll do a 10 pixel padding. Save that. And now you can see it spaces that out. It's spaced 10 pixels on the left, 10 on the right, 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom. Now, the next thing I want to do is jump back to my assignment sheet here. Um, and we can see the font on the page is Montserrat. So let's get that font just like that. And we've also got to get the lobster font. So let's get Montserrat here. Um, and then we can just say get font. And I'll say get embed code. And here is the code for Montserrat, just like that. Copy that and I can paste that in the head here, just like so. And then let's go back. Let's also get the lobster font while we're at it. <clears throat> so let's say get font. Um, and right now this adjusted, you can see this includes the lobster and Montserrat, just like that. So we'll copy this and I can replace what I did earlier. And so now we've got both fonts included in this. Now the body font we're gonna to set to be the uh, Montserrat font. So let's go back here. Let us get the, this is the line that we want right there. Now we'll jump back to our code here and in the body we'll say uh, font dash family colon and we'll paste that in there. And again, we need to make these single quotes like so let's save that and now all the font will be this Montserrat font here okay let's jump back to the 
assignment sheet here. Um, and so now we've got an H1. It's aligned to the center and you can see it says the same thing here. So inside this div that we made, let's do an H1. And the text is going to be challenge 06. Oops. 06 divs like this. Save that. Let's refresh this and you can see it says challenge 06 divs. That's in that Montserrat font. So let's make it that lobster font, which we have here. So I'll get that. Go back here to my brackets and let's say style equals and we'll do font dash family. Paste that in there. Make sure this is single quotes. Save that. Refresh it. Now it's that lobster font. Let's make it centered. Text dash align center, semicolon like that. Now that's centered in there. And the next thing we want to do is add a paragraph here. It doesn't matter what it says. You can say, you can add a paragraph in here about your thoughts on HTML CSS so far. I'll go to Lipsum and get a paragraph here. Copy that. Let's go back here. And I'll put a paragraph like so. Paste that in there. Save that. Jump back here and refresh that. So now if we jump back to our page, you can see that paragraph is in there. The assignment sheet here, and we can see we've got a div with a bunch of links in it. Okay, so let's see if we can add that. It's got four links, one to ESPN, one to Milesplit, one to CNN, and one to USA Today. So I'll jump back to brackets here. I'm just going to copy this declaration for this div here. Copy that, and I'll paste that below this here, right there, just like that and I need a closing div. And so now we have a, another div right below that. You can see it, it kind of joins up right against that. So now let's go back to this div here and let's give it a margin on the bottom of 20 pixels. Now we save that and now those are spaced out just like that. Now let's add some links in here. So I'll put a paragraph tag and I'll say, style equals and we'll do text align center like that and now let's put some links inside of this and we'll do a href and this first one's going to go to espn so let's go let's get the espn link here i'll copy that so i'll paste that in there type in espn let's do another link here to mile split i just duplicated that line and i'll type in co dot mile split like that and this is the colorado mile split it's all about track and field let's copy that link and i'll paste that there i'll copy this paste that down and let's get this cnn website we'll get that we'll copy that link and i'll jump back here and we'll paste that in here changes to say C and N. Let's duplicate that. This one's going to be to USA Today. We'll type in USA Today, just like that. Copy that link and we'll paste that one in here. Now, if I save this, jump back here, close this one, go back to my div tag and refresh. There's my one, two, three, four links there. Now let's get the styles that we want here. So it has a background color of any red with a uh, padding of 10 pixels. So we'll say here, we'll say style equals background color. And we'll do Indian red, just like that. Save that. Come back here, refresh that. You can see it's got a background color. And now let's add a padding of 10 pixels like so. Refresh that. Uh, and then you can see that we need to make the color needs to be white and no text dash decoration. So we'll do color colon white text dash decoration. And we'll do none like so and refresh that. And now I'm going to copy this style that we just made and paste that on here and there and there like so. Refresh that and you can see we've got those there. And now let's make all these open inside of a new window. 
So here we'll say target equals underscore blank, like so. And I'm going to put this on all of these links here, just like that. Save that. And now all these will open inside of a new window. One other thing you may need to add is a display inline block onto this. You may need to add that. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to go ahead and add it because it's the most efficient way to do things. I just add display inline block and you can see it'll space that out actually how it's supposed to be spaced there. And now if I click these, they go to each of those respective websites. Since we're leaving our site, it's opening inside of a new window. Just like that. So now we can jump back to the assignment sheet and we can see that we've got another paragraph. This is about me with the paragraph here. So let's see if we can do that. Let's jump back to brackets. Let's get this paragraph. We can just simply copy this up here. I'll go back down here. I'll paste that below this div, just like that. Now this div right here, we've got to give it a margin on the bottom, margin dash bottom, and we'll do 20 pixels to make those spaced out. And then this one's going to say about us, about me, I should say. And then really what I want you to do is key in some text that is about you in this particular paragraph. Just tell me a little bit. Just tell me a few things about you that I don't already know that adds that on there. And now let's add in our last div here. So I'll jump back to brackets and we'll simply take this one again, copy this and we'll paste this one down here. And I'm going to delete all this paragraph here. And then we don't need an H1 in this particular one here. So now we are going to say created by Patrick Sasser. And then the next thing it says on there is uh, last updated and today's date and then my email. So we'll jump back to brackets and we'll say last updated. And then today's date is January 31, 2024. And I'll say uh, email me at my email and I'll do Patrick underscore Sasser at dpsk12.net. And this will be your email you'll put on there. And again, I'll do an A tag with an href and I'll do mail to colon and I'll paste that email and then a closing quote. And then I'll move my closing a tag that it added to the end of this automatically. Just like that, I'll save this and I'll refresh this and show you here. So that's looking pretty good. We want this to be centered and we want it to be single spaced as well. So now we will, I can get rid of this margin bottom on this one because we don't need a margin bottom on that one. I'll make it single space by adding in a BR like that and another BR there as well. And so now that is single spaced and now we want to make this centered. So I'll just say style equals text dash align center, just like that, refresh that. And that completes this tutorial on div tags in HTML.